Hello, everyone. I'm here at the Embassy Suites in Dallas with Stephen Fournier. How are you, Stephen? I'm fine. I'm going to take my mask off because uh, making, making a video is better without the mask, probably. That's okay. We're a lot more than six feet away. Yes. <laughs> so Stephen is the... Um, of owner of Kingdom Eyewear, which has many great collections. And Stephen, what will you be showing us today? Today, we're all about Casanova, and Casanova is three brands Casanova, the famous Taxi, and Dolce Vita. Awesome. And I love this opportunity because I understand that a lot of times um, your, your fans and your customers who carry these great lines, they'll come to the shows every year to get the updates on what's new so they can keep their retail experience fresh and, you know, up to date. Um, tell me a little bit about some of the updates that you've made with Casanova. Well, uh, we've been on hold with our production actually of the new product. Uh, there are eight new styles that I've designed with the help of some of uh, other, other colleagues of mine, designers in the industry who are huge fans of the history of Casanova and Taxi. So we do have prototypes. Maybe I'll sneak a couple peeks for you guys so you can see what the structure of the frame is. As long as you can imagine, it will have the Casanova colors. Right now they're just raw, but toward the end of the presentation, I'll show some of those off. Well, that's really exciting to get some of that insider back scene kind of uh, behind the scenes stuff going on. So. I'll let you take it away, Stephen. Thank you for joining us here on the Eyewear Art Walk Live. Uh, you're welcome. So this is the typical presentation that I would make to a customer interested in the line. And I'm going to start from the very beginning of the story. And that has a lot to do with uh, a brief history on the classic Casanova. Uh, Casanova has been the most celebrated uh, design collection since the 1980s when it was introduced and has been hoarded by collectors around the world, uh, from Sweden to Germany to France, Italy, America, uh, South America, North America, Canada, Asia. And um, I also, for many years, was a collector and a fan of the collection. Uh, fortunate now to be the new custodian of the brand. I have uh, big shoes to fill from the predecessors. And uh, the collection, is uh, going to continue to include the principles of Casanova Taxi and Dolce Vita, which are a fusion of color and art, advanced technology with a heartfelt passion, um, and uh, also made with meticulous hand craftsmanship. So the combination of these principles has been the identity of the, the brand Casanova Eyewear, Casanova Okiyali for generations. And to produce beautiful eyewear, it does take time, significant time, consideration, and talented hands. And the results are known around the world now uh, by the fans of Casanova. And we believe that uh, these medals can only be made in Italy. So uh, the Casanova collection is the heart of the Venetian manufacturing there in Italy. Uh, Casanova Occhiali is uh, timeless in its, its design not to trend uh, in its design, it's timeless. Uh, the current direction continues to be inspired by independent artists, art movements, um, and we hold dear the treasured heritage uh, of the Venetian people uh, from the 1900s to current to modern day, the Viennese Secession, uh, Mondrian, Miro, Kandinsky, Le Corbusier, from whose artwork many shapes and colors have already been borrowed into the designs over the years. And from the first introduction at the fashion trade fairs in 1985 through the following 25 years, the iconic image of the unique Venetian design character of Casanova eyewear and its hand applied cloisonne colors have become enviable architectures and uh, afforded many people uh, a world-class collection of eyewear and has afforded Casanova as a brand to become a world-class leader in the creation of what I now call art-centric eyewear under the trademarks that we have for the uh, certified made in Italy product. The Casanova creators continue the study of concepts inspired by artistic movements, of course, and individual artists that includes poetry, uh, fine painting. It includes uh, the concepts of sculpture, architecture, 
and all things that may be art, including music, which is one of my favorite elements and, and uh, backgrounds in, in art. So uh, as the segment in Casanova continues forward, we will, we will carry forward the spirit of uh, that daring hot couture design that Casanova is well for, uh, taking chances and risks, and we'll continue to embody the most interesting architectural elements of the collection in our, our taxi collection, the ta taxi brand, which is made in the same place right now as the Casanova eyewear. And then also our uh, Preta Porter, which is our ready to wear collection for men and women, which tends to be um, a little bit more uh, reserved in, in its flair, but still very desirable. And that is in our Dolce Vita collection all still centric and made in Italy. So uh, as we continue forward, uh, I'm gonna show you today our classic collections. Um, upon uh, receipts of uh, the company and story, I've discovered some classic pieces that are quite desirable that were never presented. I've also discovered a few boxes of some of the most desirable pieces that uh, people call me who know Casanova and ask me to look for. And uh, I'm going to show you all of these. This is our current collection that's available for any of you interested in carrying the line in your optical dispensaries. So the collection will be presented to you as what we consider the most coveted brand of made in Italy eyewear. And we search for the opticians and retailers and uh, doctor's offices in, uh, in our markets who are the, the more bold and the more daring as uh, you know, Casanova Taxi and Dolce Vita affords the the uh, industry to express themselves in their dispensary and also their patients and their customers to have something quite unique. So, with that, um, I'm going to just jump into one of our iconic sunglass uh, I ideas, and this is the LC100. Now, the LC100 here is presented in a uh, Ruthenium color tone in a base ruthenium. Our metals, by the way, uh, generally are Monel, although we use stainless steel. And all of the coloring is hand painted, applied with a syringe, and it is cloisonne. Cloisonne generally starts out as a granular component that is heated and melted and applied with a syringe. So meticulous, uh, paying attention to the, the meticulous detail of hand painting. If I can, if I can uh, get this a little closer, let's see how my camera does. You can see the beginning of the stained glass effect or what we call affectionately, the cathedral effect. You can also see the painting of the leaves on this color in white and the detail hand painted of even the veins of the leaves. And this is one of the uh, Casanova sunglasses. These are available with clear lenses as well for a, a wider PD, somebody who's interested in a little bit more of a fashion statement. And yeah, sure, I'll try one on. I know you asked, right? <laughs> so can be sporty, can be a little edgy. Again, this model is LC100, and you can see these colors on the website, which is uh, there at CasanovaEyewear.com. This one is a gold base. So with our gold tones, we start with a palladium finish first over our base, and at least uh, four and a half microns of precious metals are applied to get our finishes to the state of being hypoallergenic. And then on top of that, additional galvanic processes uh, provide the more additional plating colors when you see gold and silver in combination. And then all of the enameling, that's still cloisonne as well, like the white and black you see here. And here I have a uh, gold tone base. Gold tone base. Uh, with a silver application and uh, the cloisonne in black and red. So 
So that's model LC100 for you guys. And by the way, these are models that we currently have in stock. So if you want to get out your order pads and keep up with me as we go along, you'll be able to write down uh, which, which models maybe you'd like to order for your inventory. This is model RC17. The RC17 is a little more contemporary. This is what I call the contemporary Casanova. You can see uh, the spots are actually raised dots, so they have texture. This is cloisonné on top of cloisonné. And also you can see the detail here in the multidimensional metal temple. Mounting wise, we have a typical block. So no, uh, no tricky mounting to worry about. Nose pads, as always. We believe nose pads are a significant element for the optician to make the perfect pair of uh, fitting glasses for the customer. So we encourage you to use larger nose pads if you need or smaller or silicone or acetate. But we do, of course, provide stock nose pads. That color was the black and white. Here's a red and white in the RC-17. Depending on your complexion tone or your outfit. That is really nice. So I have a, a couple buyers here who are watching this and making their own notes as we go along. This does have the cathedral effect inside of the architect, architectural uh, content of the temple. And as I show you this, you can see the dimension of the temple. It's nicely done. Beautiful uplift. Size-wise, this one is a, a uh, 52 with a 17 bridge. This is a ruthenium base with a beautiful midnight blue and black. Again, the RC-17 is the model. It has a certain iridescence on the blue temples because this is the cathedral effect again, where it's a translucent material inside the voids of the architecture of the temples. Here are blondes. Green looks great usually on blondes. What do you think of that? You can see the color. Uh, make this so it's here it is. The color peaks out, especially in certain lighting conditions from inside the temple. And then to, to um, enhance and highlight that, see if I can get that into a better focus for you. The same idea of multi-dimensional hand applied cloisonne dots. This is a little bit more of a unique color palette with uh, an anodized red on the outside of a chrome, chromium uh, palladium base with hand-drawn little scribbly marks. They are not asymmetrical, but that's a desired effect as well in the Casanova collection. So that was the RC-17. I believe we have 12 colors. I just showed you six of them. So when you're ready for additional colors, you can head over to our website and take a quick look. The next one I'm going to show you is also a contemporary design. This is our model LC89. This has a beautiful uplifting uh, effect in the corner. Almost a banjo string effect. Each individual string colored with uh, fantastic peacock style colors. And then on the front, confetti. These are hand applied closing A lines over black with the base metal being the palladium silver. So this is the model LC89. We do have eight colors of those as well. 
I think I'm going to, for the sake of brevity, I think I'm going to uh, start showing some of my favorite colors and let you enjoy looking at the website for some additional. This is the epitome of what we call the cathedral effect. This is a stained glass where it is translucent when you look through the voids and gives such a beautiful dimension on, on the face. You can see the colors nicely there carried over into the brow. So this is a silver tone as well. I'm sorry, this is a gold tone. This is a, a 14 karat gold base tone with a silver bridge. Next, one of my favorite ideas in asymmetry is the Dolce Vita. As I stated, Dolce Vita is our pret a porter idea. So these are a little bit more um, contemporary, ready to wear, as interpreted by our Casanova collection. Certainly not an everyday trend, but the collection has beautifully made open architecture on the lenses and uh, we use a symmetry from time to time, but a very thin profile on the temples. This is the Dolce Vita collection models um, DV22, DV22. And if you can see closely there, this has an off-white and brown coloring on the on the eye wire and the rest of the frame base is all ruthenium. Converse to that we have a gold base. This is a 14 karat gold base. So these are not solid 14 karat. These are four and a half microns of plating in total. And of course you have cloisonne in the front accents. Dolce Vita tends to have a little bit less cloisonne. And for that reason, the wholesale price is reflected to be a little bit less than the regular Casanova collection, but still beautiful in its own right. Again, this model, one of my favorites is the DV27 and belongs in every, I'm sorry, DV22, belongs in everybody's dispensary. It's a beautiful frame. We have another exciting oval. Uh, when I produced uh, this one and started showing it uh, to the customers, um, they they really loved it. It is an oval design. Um, this is a part of the PMC collection. This is the PMC number two. So uh, it is a satin finish gold tone with the Casanova colors the color flagging that we like to use on some of the Casanovas in circles and triangles in the corners and on the temple with a Rialto bridge style arched bridge representing the Venetian culture here again. And uh, as I said before, the model for your uh, record PMC2. And that's also on our website so you can see additional colors. Here's a beautiful classic black and gold. Black eye rim, satin gold 14 karat with a beautiful palladium combination of accents right next to the gold. Gold right next to the palladium requires two different plating methodologies and uh, just gives Casanova and its collection that extra added detail that people love. So show you what this looks like on. Thank you. Yeah, so PMC2. All right, we're going to move on to uh, another one of my favorites. This is the, the uh, KC7. This is going to show um, inspiration of music, if you can imagine. And it does take some imagination. This may look like uh, notation. It may look like musical notation in some way. If you're into digital music production, it definitely looks like musical notation in a digital way. This is how 
the screen looks when you're working with a producer in a music studio, which I've had a lot of experience doing. So you see uh, some of the art of music coming into play here. This is a pink and black combination, all cloisonné, uh, beautifully done in a contemporary model. And uh, the base color tone is gold, so the IRM here is a gold tone. And this, again, is model KC7. We have seven colors on the website available, so I'm going to show you just a couple. Here's the KC7 in a gold tone with uh, some kind of straw and, and a gray with black accents. Straw and gray with black accents put over a gold 14 karat chassis. And although the temples are a little short for me, you can kind of see how it would fit. It's a more petite eye size. And I'll tell you the eye size here is a, uh, it's a 5116 with a 135 temple. Would you mind putting this on for me? Sure. This frame is uh, another favorite in the collection. This is the, the uh, taxi. So we're going to jump over to the architectural element of taxi. This is the TYP, TYP like number 17. And the way this sits on the face is very contemporary, a little deeper beam measurement, which is, uh, it, it is in vogue right now to have a deeper, bigger frame. Many of the clients who are going to RX this love to put a sunglass or a fashion tint color in this. So uh, this one is a 14 karat base plated metal and has a combination of uh, 14 karat dots on white cloisonné with black cloisonné dots and uh, matching black accents with black temples. Also available uh, in several colors. So I'll show you a couple of my favorites. What I call uh, contemporary here as well, uh, but super easy to sell because um, it, it fits a wide variety of choices and age groups and goes with so many different outfits. The taxi. TYP 17. Staying in this, uh, this, this vein idea of uh, deeper beam measurements for the fashion that uh, this gives, uh, the uh, GC2, I'm sorry, LC90, LC90, write that down, scratch off GC2, <laughs> the LC90. What we have here is a, a beautiful, this is like one of the Casanovas, a, a beautiful temple design in architecture, random pattern with uh, cloisonné elements, the stained glass cathedral effect in the temples. This is a uh, palladium tone, beautifully adorned with uh, cloisonné in multi-dimensions. I'll tilt it this way so you can see. Multi-dimensions on the frame corner. Exquisite uplift, very flattering on the face to draw the uh, attention up and out, which is uh, just a beautiful feminine look. So this is a silver tone. And LC90 also comes in a gold tone. Fourteen karat gold plating here. Again, with uh, the multiple layers of architecture, although this is a Casanova. Casanova, you can count on the brand to have the most color and the most uh, interesting architecture and uh, the most detail in the, the design elements. This one happens to have a very interesting color application that is, uh, in addition to 
the uh, the cloisonne is a a foil wrap that gives us a kind of a water color print application on the temples. And uh, this was done uh, in a certain time period in uh, in the past and is not done anymore. So these pieces, I was very happy to find small supply of stock in the warehouse. So these are limited in, in availability. So if you're interested, let me know. That's model LC90. Oh, thank you. You can just put that one there. Uh, let's let's look at the ah. This is a little larger. The um, eye size being a 52, 5220. This is the LC18, part of the Dolce Vita Predaport Predaporter collection, ready to wear. This has what I think is a traditional African ethnic kind of pattern to it, which I love on gold. It is absolutely stunning cool. with a satin finish on the temples and a combination satin and gloss on the eye wire. So really nice but simple effects in, in an architecture that is a very unique piece. Multiple colors are available. And again, that is the LC18. This is toned down with a, um, an off-white and brown color tone on gold and carries over to the temples. Beautiful pattern, almost animal print. Looks stunning on ladies with that select outfit. And of course, everybody who wears Casanova has to have one for each outfit, right? Mm -hmm. So classic black, still in, in style. This is a Casanova model RC20. And uh, what we have here is a, a, um, an anodized galvanic process that gives us a beautiful black. It's not powder coated, it's actually anodized and um, very nice finish in a dark gunmetal kind of the kind of gunmetal where it's a gun that has been fired and has multi-dimensions sometimes you see greens blues and purples in a very subtle way in the right light so it's a little bit more subtle on the coloring as you can see we have men and women wearing this so this would be a great unisex piece the size comes in at a 5317 Multiple colors are available. I'll show you one here that's uh, a bit more feminine. This is a palladium silver base. And what I, I refer to as our, our little candy stripe color uh, arrangement. Peppermint, peppermint red on white and silver with black. So that is the RC20. One of the favorite colors, I thought we were completely sold out. We have just found another short stock of these. These are brand new old stock a few years back. We thought they were sold out. There's a pink on silver. So if you order this, make sure you ask for the RC20. Thanks. Uh, designers usually, uh, especially in Iowa, where we, we, we uh, get more excited when we see different things. We get excited when we see a symmetry, for example. I get excited about this model, the FC23. So what you have here is something that accentuates today's hairstyle with more people having hairstyles parted on the side, having a uh, Asymmetrical hairstyle eyewear can be a fantastic uh, um, complement to a beautiful hairstyle, and this is one of my favorites. So, this model again, the uh, the R, uh, darn it, sorry, the uh, FC twenty three is a forty eight twenty. 
larger oval with a wider bridge and uh, has has the cathedral effect that stained glass closed in a corner with beautiful and applied colors on the bridge that arches over the top of the one eye wire to connect to the other right where it needs to. Beautifully balanced but asymmetrical look. And this has a silver tone temple. And here's a gold tone. Now we have a combination again of satin, satin gold and gloss gold all in strategic placement. So you have a green cloisonne. Great for someone with a little hint of green in their eyes. Just absolutely sets off the color of their eyes. And I love to see eyewear colors really dance with the eye colors and complete, complete that whole look. So this is a, a phenomenal frame for that. This is a Casanova. Uh, I know I told you already, but I'll tell you again. Thank you for asking. The FC23. So, so for, for those of you uh, following along and asking questions as we go, I appreciate that. You're keeping me on track. Thank you very much for that. There's requests coming through that you'd like to see some of the vintage pieces that I brought for the presentation. So let's take a break from those that are currently available and let me show you what you can't have. <laughs> this is my personal collection. And some of you will say, oh, I've seen that before. I wanted to get one of those, but I couldn't get it. Um, so these sell on Etsy for three or four times the original price. Right now they're quite collectible. Colors and also in an option with sunglass lenses. So that was one of the uh, whimsical creations from the Symbolism collection. This is from the uh, RK collection, um, short for architectural in Casanova. Borrowing from taxi, the, uh, the word architecture and the orient of architecture, this one was very futuristic. And I do have a couple of these available for you true collectors. You can see the prices uh, at retail suggested price on the uh, website under the vintage page, the vintage collection. And a few of you opticians out there are wearing this one now. Uh, you're stunning. I know who you are. I won't throw your names out there. Don't want to drop names. That's not fair. But I think you're so amazing to wear such inventive and just delicious looking eyewear. You captivate everywhere you go, and that's what these frames are designed to do. Captivate the imagination and uh, stimulate people to ask you, where did you get your eyewear? This one is the uh, RBC one, one of my favorites. Quite a few gentlemen uh, who are friends of mine wear this. This is really a very cool architectural piece. This is a gold tone. We also have a matte finish burgundy tone available. So I do have a very small stock of these as well. I'm talking maybe one or two left. So if you're interested, make sure you get to me pretty quick. I'll tell you again, the model number of this is RBC1. Oh, one other. This is uh, this should be talked about. This is from a collection of four pieces that were origi originally released together. You had to buy the the whole uh, all four to have the kit. These were called the seasons, the four seasons. So uh, this is I have my collection of four in my my archives, my little uh, museum locker that I won't sell. But this is an extra if you're interested. By the way, it's uh, this is the model Estate, Estate as in estate. And this one is brand new old stock that we found in the warehouse. Quite a coveted piece. If you're interested, you know how to find it. So let's get back to looking at more of the contemporary collection. Give me those. Uh, 
In today's market, obviously, uh, these pieces are not as prevalent and desirable uh, because of the shorter B measurement. You can see they're a short B measurement. Still can accommodate on some faces a, a deep enough B measurement for a progressive lens. And especially for certain types of prescriptions can be more beneficial than today's larger, deeper B measurements, which seem to be trend. So we do have fans of this collection still. Uh, this has a very unique spring design in the temples that was developed by Casanova in the early days. This is brand new old stock with cloisonne coloring in dots on a gold tone chassis in a 14 karat plated uh, chassis. And uh, let me give you the eye size. It's a 5217. Perfect for a, uh, a problem where you might have high cheeks and a lower bridge, but still want the beautiful Casanova colors and uh, has a beautiful arch on the brow line as well. So this is model FC, FC41. Multiple colors are available. I'll show you one in a silver tone. This is a base uh, palladium coloring, again, with, uh, with that unique hinge design. Nah, there, get it up there. That flexes perfectly, uh, just enough, not designed to really uh, be a spring hinge, but it does give some flex to the frame. And uh, you can see barely a little bit of the cathedral effect as I uh, shine it through the light. So it has beautiful dimension in the temples. And this is a uh, silver color tone, as I said, in palladium. Uh, with a combination of gunmetal, ruthenium, and cloisonne in black, blue, and multicolors on the brow line. Model FC41. How are we doing out there? Looks like you want to see a few more. Okay, all right, I got it coming. Something fun. This is part of the brand new RK collection, the architecture collection from Casanova. Cute. Isn't that cute? Little, a little uh, play on the culture here for uh, a look that is unmistakably different than anything else that you've seen in a basic oval. This is a gold tone. The, uh, the metal components are bent by hand uh, before they are plated, so the plating is not bent. Gives the best quality lasting finish. And then uh, just a, a dot and a bead of cloisonne at the end. Lightweight and small, this RK uh, design is 46 millimeters by 18. 46, 18. And we have gold with the the um, accessory dot being red green or blue and you'll see those on the website too next up is a taxi model this is another one that we found more stock uh, just recently taxi number 266 this i'd have to say is a really good seller to the clients that i've been able to present it to in person so they have uh, really enjoyed the asymmetry it's subtle asymmetry, asymmetry. Let me pronounce that properly, asymmetry. This one is unisex, it can be masculine or feminine. And uh, coming in at a size that is 48 millimeters by 20 bridge, 48.20. And brick red, dark navy blue, ruthenium base, and uh, a bit of a brown accent tone. On the other end of the color spectrum, with a gold tone in 14 karat, a little bit of green, a little bit of brick red, and you can see it's a symmetry. And this is the, the favorable design that people love. You have the brow line and um, the bottom of the next eye rim matching in color, but not symmetrical with greens, blues, and brick reds in gold tone. 
Again, that model is the Taxi 266. I want to jump over to uh, another sunglass that I think is a lot of fun. Uh, today on the, uh, or th this week on the Iwer Art Walk, we had uh, uh, a young lady doctor who looked so stunning in this frame as a sunglass, she bought one for herself. Uh, so if you see her walking around Texas, you'll know where she got it. And she has her own practice. So she'll be carrying a couple pieces of the line. Uh, this is called the Tum Tum Frame. It's a turn of the century, turn of the 20th century uh, approach to poetry words in Latin, mostly a phonetic. So as they're written out here, they're engraved into the, uh, the stainless steel chassis and then cloisonne is put into the engraving. So it does have a, uh, a beautiful feel. You can feel the texture and the engraving in the, the frame. They're smaller. They are a uh, uh, 4224, and this is the model FC3, FC3. So you can see, uh, I like to wear small sunglasses. You can wear it with um, hats, and uh, for me, I wear a lot of hats, so I like that. And we have gold tone, silver tone, ruthenium tone. Here's the gold. Hopefully you can see that color. Can be edgy. It's it's architecture um, with this uh, sort of an octagon shape in the eye wire, and again the Rialto bridge in the in the center. <laughs> That's what we call uh, the Venetian bridge. It's uh, it's an iconic piece for the culture of Casanova. This is another cultural Dolce Vita piece and really transcends over to the colors of Casanova with the cathedral effect. You can see right through the, the uh, colors on this. Absolutely beautiful stained glass piece. Has a little bit of a butterfly attitude in its shape and, and its uplift. And I'll tell you, this is a 5216 mod model Dolce Vita. The DVL13, DVL13 is the model, part of the Dolce Vita collection. The way this hinge closes is uh, really something as well. It's a single hinge. Most of the time you'll see frame companies come out with a double hinge on this kind of temple. There's a very sturdy feeling single hinge. And multiple colors available. I'll show you uh, the, the uh, Silver, this is a silver infused cloisonne put over a silver chassis with palladium coating. And uh, translucent cloisonne, again, giving us the cathedral effect in white over black. Really a stunning piece. Okay, we're going to give you that one. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up and kind of uh, give you a little bit of an idea where we're going in the future. And um, one of the things I'd like to tell you about is I've been working with different designers. Uh, this is a big project for me to design everything we're going to be doing. I've designed some beautiful uh, initial designs to carry the collection forward and also done a collaboration already with the Devets Lunettes factory in France, creating a, uh, a re-edition, if you will. This is what I call retro modified. This is the original Zeta that was introduced by Taxi in Germany in 19, I believe it was 87. I'll have to look at the record books to make sure. But this was quite an iconic piece. Casanova back then only made the metal frames. Decided to come out with a production of acetate. But the factory typically was a metals factory. So their solution was to collaborate with a different factory outside of Casanova to make the Casanova acetates. The result, one of them was this Zeta frame. It's an avant-garde shape that became immensely popular. When it was, was uh, shown for the first time at Opti Munich, 
the uh, the legend has it that every piece was sold at that show in three days. Every piece was sold, and the Zeta was never made again. So when I found uh, the uh, the uh, a couple of the pieces in the warehouse, I decided to remake them. I, I pretty much kept the, the original eye size and shape. I did make a more universally fitting bridge so that we have better nose pads, I think, better for the contemporary wearer, and a little bit of a flag on the temple to give a little bit more of a side profile definition. So it's not the exact reproduction, it's a retro modified of the Zeta from Taxi's past. These were made in a very limited production of 20 pieces each. So if you're interested in them, please call right away. I think we're down to just a couple pieces left per color. And we can't, we have a tortoise front with translucent red. We have all translucent red. And uh, we have a black front with uh, red temples and a tortoise temple with a red front, different combinations mostly tortoise black and red for the first iteration and that is by the way the taxi dl1 that is the model dl1 the dl2 following right behind is part of the capsule collection and this happens to be a 50 eye size oh i'm sorry it's a it's not it's a 43 eye size 43 26 the bridge being a 26 is the DBL, not the actual bridge fit. That would be too big. But if you take a look at how it fits on, it's a narrower bridge, but the DBL is what I was talking about measurement-wise. Makes a fantastic sunglass. It's a smaller profile. Here, you ought to try this on. It's, it's really quite something. Red and black is available and is a very couture in the avant-garde oh, wow. sector of eyewear. Yes, see? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. There will be more colors coming in these as we progress and get the collection out into the market. So um, I am going to show you now the prototypes, which I have somewhere here. Okay. Oh, here they are. Yeah, thanks. So, Stephen, what will you do with the collection? Do you have any new releases? How many times have I heard that? Lots of times. So here we go. I'm going to give you an idea. And I'll be happy to share uh, coloring concepts with you. But um, first, I'm just going to show you the frames in the what we call the raw. And what do you have here? Yeah, I love them, too. Those are my favorites. Beautiful fitting, contemporary shape with flare on the uplift on the brow line. And you see those voids, of course, I'll be filling those with cathedral effect enamel on some of the colorings. And you'll see some exquisite color combinations, all hand painted with the cloisonne uh, syringes as we, as we galvanize these in different bases. We will have ruthenium black, we'll have 14 karat gold, and we'll also have palladium. Next up, we have uh, the twig. This is going to be part of the symbolism collection for Taxi. So this is a, a one-piece architecture that starts from the temple, follows here around the top of the brow line, across the bridge, all one piece of metal, all the way back again to the next temple. And I call it the twig after Twiggy from the 60s. She was a model that was uh, quite well known in fashion circles. And in order to memorialize Twiggy, we even have here something that symbolizes uh, a tree branch. I guess she was quite skinny, and I think that's why she was called Twiggy. <laughs> this will be colored in, uh, again, gold and palladium and uh, ruthenium black with lots of options in uh, Cluzinet color. This is another uh, new Casanova, and the brow line will allow us to experiment with fantastic colorations in the stained glass effect. There's also a little void right there on the cheek. Always important to, uh, to, to make an accent on the cheek that helps to balance out the face. 
And uh, when you see the colors on this one, it likely will take on a completely different look for you. We'll have black and white stripes in this. We will have uh, a gold tone with four or five different colors in the brow and also a black ruthenium with red and other colors coming. I do have sketches of these. I'd be very happy to show you if you needed to see them, but if you'll be patient enough, the colors and the frames will be produced in about two to six months, depending on the production and COVID at uh, the factory and all things considered with international trade. So. This is right here, uh, a unisex piece in the taxi collection. This is a 52 millimeter wide eye size. DBL is going to be, I believe, 19, 18 or 19. And this, again, these are prototypes. So we won't have these in just base colors with Casanova's culture. We must color them with beautiful colors. But this one is going to be in general, uh, focused on the um, the collectible vintage collectible car, specifically race cars. If you want to think of the cars that go to Goodwood in the UK, if you want to think of the historic races, uh, this will be a frame that appeals to that crowd because of the colors being borrowed from uh, those enamel cars of the 1940s, 50s. And uh, colors, I think, are going to be very exciting. So with that, I'll leave you uh, with one more. This is the symbolism model, um, I Am. It's called I Am. And um, it has on the top, whimsical, yes, I know. Yeah, what is that? Yes, what is that thing on the top? Yes, OK. Let me explain. If you take a look just right here, it's a human being, maybe relaxing on something round, staring up at the sky, pushing on another round object with their feet, which happens to be pushed off center because of the motion. There, there again, you'll see voids that we can fill with the cathedral effect enamel process. And this will be a beautiful unisex piece for men and women. Uh, you may see my picture when, uh, before I cut my hair off, I had green lenses in, in the rimless version. So this is coming along with the rest of the collection very soon. One last is a drill mount piece that I think is a bit contemporary because of the size and it's a facet which makes it 1980s vintage. And uh, I'll show you this first. We'll, we'll, we'll follow from the beginning of the idea of design. Crazy temple. By the way, this does not get caught in the in the hair when you put it on and when you take it off. So easy to wear. Very expressive. Imagine if this was a long fuse, such as may be in a cartoon pirate movie. And uh, there is the mounting the corner for the uh, first lens. Notice that's a T going to the bridge. Not exactly specified as a letter, but it looks like an N. And then over here you have another T. So the lady who wears this will certainly be dynamite. Get it? <laughs> yeah. Colors, fashion tints, all kinds of fun. Sunglass. This is going to be absolutely stunning. I can't wait to see this. This right now is very simply just a prototype. So, ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to hearing from you if you might be interested in carrying the Casanova collection or have more uh, questions. And uh, Charlene, thank you for hosting this. Are you are you back with us? I think you're muted. Oh, Stephen, um, that was incredible to see um, you present those lines. I mean, I don't even know if at a traditional trade show you'd have the amount of time to give that thorough of a presentation. Um, seeing the frames on your website, I've looked at them a hundred times and I'll never look at them the same. 
um, truly blown away by your product knowledge and the way you explain um, all of the delicate ways that the frames are manufactured. I feel like uh, our audience who's watching is going to really appreciate now all of the care that goes into the Casanova line and Taxi and Dolce Vita. So thank you for taking the time to show us this beautiful collection, this parade of unique and sophisticated eyewear. So if you're interested, you've got all those wonderful part numbers, or you can go to CasanovaEyewear.com and you can reach out to Stephen. Stephen, can you tell them the best way to reach you? Yeah, the best is I, I uh, do not have a sales force. So the best is really to reach me through the website or via email. That's my method of communication that I can get back to you the quickest. My cell phone is also available. Uh, for those of you who already have an account, once I am, am connected with you, you have my cell phone and can call me. 24 hours a day doesn't mean I'll answer, but you can call me. <laughs> and and I, I will tell you this, I've shown you about one third of the collection. It's taken about an hour to do that. Thanks for bearing with us. There is more. So once you, you get started with the collection, I think this is a great start. But as you get into it, there's so much more to discover and have fun with. Yeah, and we will be featuring Casanova on My Vision Show. Um, we have um, borrowed our platform for the Eyewear Art Walk Live, and it's been so fun to host this hybrid event. You guys are there live in Dallas, and you've been able to dazzle people across the state of Texas with your amazing couture eyewear and your exclusive eyewear designs. I know you've had many other brands with you, but we're coming to another city near you, so keep stay tuned. And uh, We'll see yeah, you there. Thank you, Charlene. I want to thank uh, Jackie, who uh, is with you, and also Gail for being my uh, my buyers today. They're excited about the collection. And any of you interested, again, I'll be excited to meet you very soon. Thanks. Okay. Take, take care.